Hey guys, welcome back. It's lovely to see you people again, and this is another Call of Duty commentary. Now, I'm so sorry about this, but the black lines are there. Nothing I can do about it at the moment, but it, it, it's fixed now. By the time it's uploaded, it, it will have been fixed, hopefully. And, yeah, I try and bring you guys the, like, the highest quality of videos I can, but I don't know, I just... This doesn't feel right, it didn't feel like the best quality video, so this is kind of a downfall to my plot, if it were. So I, I'm very sorry about that, guys, and um, if it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me, but I just hope it could be better. Now this is Yemen Hardpoint, I'm running with the AN, and Suppressor and Laser side. It's a pretty good gun, high powerful, and it's, it's, pretty, it's, just, it's just a good gun, really like it. <laughs> Shame I don't have gold for yet, though. That's pretty pretty fucked up. Anyway, what I want to talk about is two things. The first thing is, is, uh, what's it called? Black Ops 2 Revolution DLC. This will be out for the 29th of January for Xbox players, a couple of days afterwards for PS3 players, I think. But nevertheless, you know, still, still a good, um, still a good day, pretty close. Got a way to get it. Now, the four new maps, one online weapon, a zombie map, a zombie weapon, and a zombie gear mode. That's pretty amazing, guys. Come on, you got that's pretty amazing. So yeah, <laughs> first map, hydro, hydroelectric dam, I think. Anyway, it's got water coming in. This will, this will ruin a rush's. You know, if you rush, you run in, you shoot, you run about, you're trying to stay in the fight as much as possible. This will ruin their game because the water comes in, you can't really do much. It's kind of like um, Express with the train, apart from a lot bigger skill. So it kind of stops you. So campers will be absolutely fine. They're probably just loving it. And yeah, so Hydro should be a good map. And hopefully we can kill some of them campers. <laughs> now the next map, Downhill. It's snowy, it's amazing. It's snowy, come on. I mean that right there has sold me already. Gondolas, skiing, and yeah, it's just altogether gonna be a beautiful looking map. I think hopefully if it plays smooth enough, it should be a good map. You can camp, you can rush. I mean, I'm not much of a camper, but, you know, there we go. I like to rush as much as possible. So, yeah. So, downhill, hopefully it should be a good map, and it'll remind, remind me of skiing. I don't know why, but it just really reminds me of skiing. Now, this map... Oh, God, this map is my personal favourite of the DLC that's coming out. Grind. It's a skate park in California, I think. I know it's a skate park. I think it's in California. And... Smooth edges, it's all round, no camping, it's 100% rush. Obviously someone will find a way to camp with a little shield thing, uh, but oh, it should be 100% rush, maybe 98% rush, because people will always find a way to camp, it's just how they are. So, grind, 100% rush, it'll bring you into the fight, and yeah, it's just, I'm so amazed by this map, it's, it intrigues me so much. You can... You, not only can you rush the whole game, but it's a skate park, so it'll be very new to the Call of Duty series. So yeah, and this is where I'm going to bring in... It, hope, for this you would need Marathon, Lightweight, and an SMG. Fast firing, close range, fast rate fire, well, I've already said that, but anyway. That's what it brings in. Now, I'm a fan of an assault rifle, so that might fuck my game up, but this is where this comes in. The Peacekeeper SMG, the Hybrid Assault Rifle SMG. So we all know SMGs as fast firing, close range damaging weapons, and assault rifle is slow firing or mid firing, long range fast like high powered weapons. Bring them together, I think it's going to be unstoppable. Hopefully it's not overused, but hopefully it's still going to be used a lot because I love to see this weapon a lot more. Not only is it the first DLC weapon from Call of Duty, it looks really good as well and comes with its own challenges and titles. That's pretty cool, especially for a DLC. So that's what I'm going to be using, the Peacekeeper SMG, hopefully. And I'm going to be trying to play on grind as much as possible, just because I enjoy rushing. I'm more of a, I do camp to preserve kill streaks, but only sometimes. I like to rush. So the last map, the last multiplayer map, is Mirage. It's in China, it's in a desert, and boom. Right there, that's just new. It's different. It's modern. Not really, it kind of looks old, but yeah, it's just after a sandstorm, and you can use the sand to your own advantage and climb up to higher areas of buildings. So yeah, that that's pretty cool. 
so you can use the sand to your advantage. Climb into buildings. Pretty sweet. My idea was what should happen. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Probably just doesn't. Oh, I just murked that guy there with that grenade smoke. That's what I like about that. <laughs> Sorry, totally off topic. Anyway, Mirage. What I'd love to see is, every so often, it's like a dust cloud comes in. And you'd only be able to see if you were right next to the enemy. Or you were like, I don't know. If you were right next to the enemy. Or you had um, dual band. That would be the only way to see. So that would be amazing. Unfortunately, I don't think it's in the map. But if it is, holy shit, that's amazing. So, four multiplayer maps and a new multiplayer weapon. Hopefully, all together, it's really good and I can't wait to play them. And 29th of January, remember that. Now, this one, Die Rise, the zombie map. To me, it sounds like they've copied off Reese. It sounds like they don't have enough creativity to make their own, like, a new name. But yet, it does sound very tanky, very modern, and I like it for some reason. I don't like it, but I do. I'm on a mixed feeling about it. So, Die Rise, it brings in skyscrapers, very modern. You've got to use the um, elevator shafts to go to next layers, but if you've also got to watch yourself because you can fall down them and die. So that's going to be a problem, but hopefully it's also going to be really good. Me and the crew, the crew are in my sub box, go and check them out. We, it'll bring us together. We'll either use in a pack, moving a pack of four through the hallways and the dark corridors, or we'll move in two packs of two, or two units of two, and together we will be unstoppable. So yeah, hopefully it'll bring us together and we'll fight. <laughs> Now yeah, so that was my first, that was my main topic, my secondary topic. Oh no 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 no, zombies, new zombie mode, you can be a zombie, holy shit, you can be a zombie. That's amazing, <laughs> sorry guys, so <laughs> I had to say that. And the last thing is I need some suggestions, so if you've got any suggestions on what I should do, like what I should comment on like next, what you want me to talk about, or what you want me to say, or what do you want to ask me, ask me some questions, and... Yeah, hopefully, you know, you've liked the video, and if you have, please leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment, I need that, and have a good day, guys. I hope you've had fun. Love ya.